All right, so this is a really super cool, super rare base, um, the one of one. It's a early 1981 wave base. As you can see, it's a couple of wings. It's got some nice figuring in the wings. Um, maple neck. I replaced the bridge with the correct factory Kaler one. This one's like mint condition. Uh, DiMarzio DP-122s. Um, the base is really clean. Let me flip it around here. Same thing. Got some nice grain in the maple on the back. This base uh, lived its life in Japan, more or less. A uh, buddy of mine, Todd, had bought it from Japan maybe around 2008 or so. Um, 2010, something like that. He had had it ever since. I bugged him forever to sell it to me. And uh, I've had it, oh, about a year or so. And I'm um, thinking about getting uh, what I've always wanted, a Quilt Maple Custom Shop Wave base build. I've been looking for one for years. Haven't found one, so it's looking like I'm probably just going to have to have one made if I want one. And Custom Shop's got a good crew of guys right now. Um, thinking it may be time. So this one, like I said, it's a one of one. Um, inside the pickup cavity, it's written Proto. It's a 32-inch scale instead of the usual 34. Um, short scale is 30.75. This one's 32, so it's medium scale. Um, there's a handful of other BC Rich bases that are medium scale. When I say handful, I mean a literal handful. I think it's a great scale. Alembic uh, used it pretty regularly. Um, it has all of the thud and the playability of a long scale, just a tiny bit shorter on the neck makes it a lot easier, frets 1 through 5 in particular, um, if you don't have gigantic hands. Um, let's see, so when I got her, the original wiring was gone out of it. Um, I got a new Neil Mosier circuit for it. It had some extra jack plate holes. Um, I had an aftermarket jack plate, so I had one made. It's kind of a weird angle, so it came out a little wonky, um, but it works. Covers the extra two holes, I believe, that are on there. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's actually stamped wave up there on the headstock, which is not super common. For BC riches of that era, but super clean. I mean, there's really no, no notable damage on her. Um, let me just go ahead. I know there's always concerns. Oh, it's a medium skill. Maybe it lacks the low end. Um, let's go ahead and plug it in here. Just give you guys a quick uh, feeling of what she sounds like. So yeah, she sounds good, has plenty of low end. Um, the frets are super meaty. I mean, they have almost virtually no wear on them. <clears throat> so uh, there she is. Um, yeah, not cheap. 7,500 bucks. I'm not making any money on it whatsoever at that price. Um, cheaper than you can get one built at the custom shop. Uh, PayPal friends and family on it if you want to send me a cashier's check. Uh, 
give a time to clear, cash, pick up in person, or whatever. Um, I can get it out to you same day or next day. It's got a, a pretty decent BC Rich uh, hard shell case for it. Um, and there she is.